Undergraduates at universities are unquestionably weird, but not the way you might think. So weird here is spelled in all capital letters because it's an acronym. It stands for Western, Educated, Industrialized, Rich, and Democratic. And that acronym was created by Joseph Henrik, a researcher at the University of British Columbia in Canada, who questions the validity of ultimatum game studies and a whole bunch of other studies because of the kinds of people that are being tested. And they do not reflect the diversity of Canada, they don't reflect the diversity of the US, and they certainly do not reflect the diversity of human beings around the world. And this is not a new thing. This is the way psychological research has been done for decades. In his paper, Henrik looks at the studies that have been done in different cultures with different age groups and genders and socioeconomic status and all that stuff. Studies that claim that a particular behavioral phenomenon is universal of humans, but it's based on a sample of a subpopulation. And guess what? The weird group is not normal. They're not even close. Most of the time, they are statistical outliers compared to the rest of people. So any of those studies you've heard about that explain how people act in certain circumstances, you might just have to substitute with, here's how North American undergraduates act under certain circumstances, because that's what they really measured. You can't understand what humans are like if you don't sample a diverse range of humans. When it comes to science, diversity matters. Learn how science comes to life with Inside the Breakthrough, now streaming on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts.